Hey everybody, it's Scott from Lawrence Hypnotherapy again, and thank you again for having me in your news feed. So again, if you're basically a hypnotherapist or you're you know, into psychology, or you're helping people in any way to get people off addiction, you're building a practice and you're helping people in the world to perhaps get off, whether it's alcohol, cigarettes, marijuana, coke, ice, any of those substances, that there's a lot of focus on the actual drug themselves and what it does to the body. But like, I don't know if you've seen that video that talked about how addiction is connection. Whereas, like, you know, if you lock a human, a human who could never be addicted to anything in a room, solitary confinement by themselves, with nothing but, you know, a bottle of Jack Daniels, they're going to drink it eventually. If they don't know when they're going to physically be let out. Like, there's literally these four different human emotion triggers that when people um, really feel these four things in their life, they're happy. And if they're not happy, one of them is actually missing. So we've separated into the four things, the A, B, C, D. So the A is accomplishments that people, they turn to substances often when they're not getting enough done or they feel they don't know how to get enough done. They need the plan to be unpacked for them or there's things that they don't know, but they need to like chunk down into smaller pieces to understand how progress can be made. And so it's often not just about the drugs themselves, but about all these social and psychological triggers that surround the person. And if their accomplishments aren't at an emotional level where they're feeling that, yeah, I'm actually making some progress, I'm making some wins, then they can start to turn to other things for help to feel better. The second one, B, is for breathing space. That it's not just about accomplishing things all the time. It's not just about getting it all done. But they need to know when to turn off. Another thing about addicts as well is that because we demonize them so much that we basically criticize them for what they are instead of, like, say, helping or offering therapy, that to give them some breathing space, like, where they're allowed, like, even if they're unemployed, <laughs> they're allowed to be um, as unemployed as they want between, you know, 5 p.m. when everybody else turns off <laughs> and 9 a.m. the next morning, if that makes sense. That like, no matter what it is that's going on in their life, that they need some breathing space. Like everybody needs a break. Like if they're getting lectured and all this noise in their ear all the time, like by people basically just um, insulting them for, you know, the addiction that they've got, it's not helping them. They need to have the breathing space. So they need to have the accomplishments and the breathing space. The third one, connection. And this is where, like, like what I like to call the Marco Polo effect, where there's like Marco and Polo, as in like you call that Marco, they call back. So all relationships need to feel both safe and resonant. And so when it comes to that safety and resonance, is that if people feel that even like in a crowded world, um, like if you think about like a, a deserted island where people can't reach out to anybody, but people feel this way today, <laughs> like with these tools of phones and computers and emails of technology connectivity, people are still feeling isolated. Just like that quote that says, I would rather be alone than to be <laughs> made to feel lonely in a crowded room. Um, people crave connection. And when they can't connect with somebody, if they're made to feel too weird, like, weird, like too much of a social outcast, they often will turn to addictions or revert back to addictions. And the last one, D, is discovery, which is um, finding new things. <laughs> novelty basically escaping that law of familiarity and getting to basically go to new places meet new people do new things break their routine and so these four like if they basically have like just think about for yourself how nice does it feel versus how nice does it not feel if you don't have so how nice does it feel to have in your life your accomplishments under control you've done enough today to be able to take breaks, to know that you've got your space, that you get to be you, you get to be free. It's like, you know, why are we going to work? Everything's built, <laughs> like that comedian said. Um, the third one, connection, where you get to reach out to people. Also, you get to come back, retreat into your breaks, because you don't have to reach out to people all the time. But you get to do it when it counts, when you need it. And number four, discovery, new things popping up in your life. How nice does it feel when those four things are happening? And so, like, when we talk about the subconscious, basically being that it doesn't process negations, as in that um, it thinks of pictures, sounds, and feelings. If I said, don't think of a polar bear, you think of a polar bear anyway. If we say to an addict, don't think of being an addict, all they're going to be thinking about is being an addict. If you want to fill the brain with something else, fill them with this A, B, C, D. Fill them with accomplishments, with breathing space, with connections and discovery. And I guarantee you will get a better result. So if you want to see my new ebook called um, The Four Emotional Triggers to Cure Addiction, say I'm in in the comment section and I'll send you a link to the ebook. So this one, like, you're going to love the way that I've broken this down, whereas like the A, B, C, D are basically in a scale. And so the A and the B are basically your, um, your physical, so like your basically accomplishments and breathing space is the physical element. The connection and the discovery is the psychological element. Then it works the other way, like you've got 
um, performance and passive. So basically that the accomplishments and the connections is basically your performance and the passive is basically the other two, the break and the discovery. Discovery is like where they're just sitting back and copying it on Netflix and just learning new things. And so that you can get to use this map to actually like assess where your clients are at. And so it shows you kind of like on that map, just like the wheel of life, but this one's a square. <laughs> so say I'm in the comment section. If you want to see this model of the four emotional cures, sorry, four emotional triggers to cure um, addiction, it's a pleasure chatting to you guys. And like, I love it. Like when you guys talk, you know, you guys ask questions, you guys get involved, you guys get around each other as a community. It's a really active community. Um, there's always new things going on and it's just an awesome place to be. So anyway, I'm Scott from Lawrence Hypnotherapy. Type I'm in to get the ebook. I'll talk to you soon.